Now we start working on the standard deviation of the data set. So since we have the number of data which represents x, x is the number of data set. So we will, in order to find the standard deviation, we have to f use the formula, uh, which means uh, you can calculate the standard deviation. So in this case, it's a sample, it's a sample case. So we have to use the number divided by n minus 1. So in here, we start working on the first sample. We have to find out x minus x bar, which is the number. You have to use the data number minus the sample mean of the, of the data set. So in here, the first case is x minus x bar. It's 160 minus 186.1 equals negative 26.1. So following by the 173, we still doing the same thing because the sample mean will never change. So you just keep using this number to subtract the sample mean. So in here, we will have 173 minus 186.1 we'll have negative 13.1. So keep following the same idea so you can do the rest of the calculation. In here, I would just uh, write all the answers in here, which is negative So now we have to do the calculation of the square root, the square. So we will use the same number we got from here, x minus x bar, and square to the square, power of two. So in here, you can use your calculator, put in 26.1 raised to the power of two, or you can use 26.1 times 26.1. Even though here is the negative number, because of the, the power of 2, you will always get the positive number. So you can do it in either way, either 26.1 raised to the power of 2, or 26.1 times 26.1. So you will get 681.21. So same idea is still it's a negative number. So after the square, you will get a positive number. So you will have 13.1 raised to the power of 2 in your calculator, or 13.1 times 13.1. Then you will get 171.61. So follow the same idea. Every number in negative, you, you raise to the power of 2, it will always become positive number. So you can ignore the negative sign in your calculator. So follow the same idea. You can, have, you can do the, all, all the calculation. So we will have one, one. We have all the answer on your answer sheets. do all the calculation, you have to sum all the number up in here because of the formula. The formula needs to use the square root of the sum of num data set minus x bar to the power of 2 and divide by n minus 1. So you have to add all this number up so in order to get the first answer of the, the equation. So when you sum up this number, you will have
3400.9. Now we're we going to start doing on the standard deviation. Followed by the formula, we have to plug in all the number. Since we got the number of the total, total number of the sum of x minus x bar to the power of 2, so we're going to plug in this number to the top. So we will have the standard deviation equals to the square root of 3400.9 divided by n, which is 10 number of the data set. So this, this is 10 minus 1 because we are working on a sample, sample data. So in here, we always need to calculate the inside first. So we start doing this calculation. So 3400.9 uh, divided by 9, we will have 377.8778. So this, at this time, once you finish the inside, so you can start work on a square root. So square root of 377.877a, we will have the number roughly, it's 19.4390 da da da. So we will have a lot of different number at the end. However, since we start for the whole number, we will leave one decimal place for this answer. So our final answer will be round up to 19.4. However, you should always follow your instructor. If, if he or she wants to have two decimal place, the answer will be 19.44.